dress for so long So stuck in my own way So I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has made Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Kaylin. Today is Sunday. I didn't do too much yesterday. We had a wedding Friday night, so we went to go pick up Cam from my mom's house Saturday. Stayed over there for a little bit and then came home and didn't do much at all. We went to Target and then I went to sleep. So today's Sunday. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done today. We just got out of church. It's like 10 30, 10 45. I want to get a new phone because of the wedding. I was taking pictures and I'm like, this phone quality is trash i still have an iphone 12 pro max and i'm like it might be time to upgrade so we're actually at the verizon store right now about to go see what they have i don't think i want the 16 because i've heard like it's slow and and i don't know i just haven't heard the best reviews so i'm thinking about if they have a 15 pro max getting that so we're heading in now to see if that is what we're gonna do so yeah welcome to the vlog Okay, y'all, so that was a fail. I should have known it was going to be a fail, but they did not have anything in stock. They didn't have any of the 15s or 16s, so I was just like, you know what? I'll just order online. I was already going to do that anyway, but I wanted to go to the store because if I could have picked it up, it would have been better to pick it up, but they did not have the phone, so I'm going to order it online. They'll ship it to me, and then I'll have to ship mine back to them to get the trade-in value or whatever. But we are now at the pumpkin patch. Got my pumpkin shirt on. Cam has her sweatshirt on. It's hot though. It's gonna be like 80 degrees. So I don't know how long we're gonna last in these sweatshirts, but we're at least gonna get a picture in. And then that's that. But we're waiting for my brother to get here. So he's in a mood today. It's probably because his it's, it's it's football Sunday and I have him outside. They can see your faces at church. <laughs> That's crazy. You making stuff up. <laughs> it is. Is it not? No. I thought the Eagles came you on today. You threw them. Yeah, the Eagles do come on today. Don't do that. You threw the food at me not too long ago. I passed him his food you to pick it eat because he didn't eat it. I did not. Anyway. He's moody today. <laughs> but we're at the pumpkin patch waiting for them to get here. And then we're going to film and Cam's going to see her pumpkins. Pumpkins! So I will tune back in when we're out and going. y'all it's rough it is rough out here i cannot do much in my days anymore i'm like at that point in pregnancy where it's just like girl go sit down lay down and just stop stop trying to do the most so we got home from the pumpkin patch it was really, really nice it was like 80 degrees it was hot but we all had a good time when we got home i think we got home around like two o'clock 
Kim was like a little bit tired because it was obviously during her nap time. So we put her down for a nap. She slept for like an hour and a half. And then I slept. Hubby was watching the Eagles play and then the rest of football. And then Kim woke up around 3.30, 4. I woke up and then he went outside to do some work. And me and her were just in here watching YouTube and Miss Rachel and, and my, my YouTube. We were catching up on Maya Graves. And that's it. That's where we are. So right now she's eating her little chicken fingers and fries, picking at it. Those who have toddlers know it is a struggle to get them to eat. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> so I'm sitting here. I just been I just been sitting. I may or may not do some stuff tonight. I want to, but I just don't know if I have the energy to or if I should just wait till tomorrow where I'm refreshed and I can at least have like an hour or two. So I'm going to extend this vlog into tomorrow because today wasn't really much. I'm off tomorrow. We have some things to do. We have an ultrasound appointment and I have a nail appointment or a pedicure and that's it. And then we got pumpkins. So we had a big orange pumpkin already and me and Cam got white pumpkins and I got a little white pumpkin for the baby. So I'm going to go out tomorrow and get some stuff, some painting stuff so we can paint because we're going to paint the pumpkins. Baby shark because I showed her a picture and she was obsessed. I'll insert the picture here and hopefully we'll see if her pumpkins come out looking like that. But that's the plan. She's picking up her food. Chairs in there making art. We're going to have chicken Caesar wraps. Our box just came from Hungry Root. I cannot hype Hungry Root up anymore. Hello Fresh Who? Because Hungry Root is so good and it's so healthy. I have no complaints. Like I have no complaints. I just picked the box, the meals for the next box, which have to be locked in by tomorrow. And we just got our box in the mail today. It's so good. It's so good that's been holding us over five days a week but that is it y'all we might watch love is blind tonight because i don't think i'm gonna do anything else for the rest of the night I'd rather watch love is blind put her to sleep watch love is blind a couple episodes go to sleep wake up early and just start fresh because that sun drained me just i'm already drained period that is it i do have to open up a box i want to show you guys i got um i got a couple things actually that i want to show you guys so one is a um devotional plan like a devotion notebook for daily devotions so i definitely want to start using that and then i got a journal that's supposed to help with like healing from trauma and stuff it's called the journey journal i had to think it's called the journey journal the girl who brings them her name's Brittany. i believe she's a um she's a cancer survivor and she reached out to me and said she she wanted to send me a planner after seeing like some of my stuff and it was really really cool it's like ai you go on there and answer a whole bunch of questions the planner can be for anything for like habits for you know things that you want to do self-care trying to be more productive i took the route of more of like a healing route um with like the birth trauma and being pregnant now and like about to enter postpartum so i'll have to show you guys that but it's really really nice i answered a bunch of questions so it's completely tailored to me and like what it is that i want to work through so i'm actually gonna let my therapist know about it as well because i was like this is actually really nice but i will leave all of that down below in my description when i um show you guys so getting ready to eat dinner and then i'll show you guys those two things and then i don't think i'm gonna do anything for us tonight i think we're just gonna watch that respond I'm beside 
all my cares on you I'm keeping the most high on my mind Eyes on the prize, eternal life Lord, you are always on time I know I got you, so it's alright Yeah, you are right by my side I can call you if you stay all night So if God is for me, tell me who can be against me Steady sipping on my enemies Baptized in Christ That's how I know everything finally all done my little normal morning routine um, of getting up making the bed getting ready getting breakfast for me cam hubby all the things so now i'm in my room i didn't show you guys last night so i'm going to show you guys the two journals or things that i was talking about yesterday ignore the mess that's why i'm up here so let's so just take this off okay so this is the first one this is the journey journal and i'm going to show you guys what it is she wrote me this nice card it's so sleek it's just like it's so cute so the first page it literally is personalized and this is just the first page like i said my focus was like on healing and you know as i enter like the postpartum stage like it's gonna be like the same thing again just making sure that i'm in tune with what's going on with myself so i probably actually won't start this until i'm like on maternity leave because it's 90 days and i have 90 days of maternity leave so why not be able to be off and not be distracted and be able to do this each day I think it would be good to do so it says dear Kaylin welcome to your journey you're here because you want to heal from past trauma and I want to acknowledge that this step is both courageous and powerful as you begin this 90 day journey remember that healing is not a race it's a gradual process over the next few months you'll engage in thoughtful reflections that will encourage you to explore your emotions develop healthy coping mechanisms and set those all-important boundaries for self-care picture this as a gentle unfolding where each page offers you a moment to breathe and reflect of course as you navigate this path you might encounter some bumps along the way that's completely normal healing can sometimes feel like, like you're walking uphill in a snowstorm but take heart you won't be trudging through it alone each prompt is here to support you gently guiding you back whenever you lose your footing i encourage you to engage with this journal regularly let it be a safe place for your thoughts perhaps start by jotting down one emotion you're feeling today or a small step you can take towards self-compassion remember every reflection counts as a step forward no matter how small embrace this journey with an open heart you have the strength within you to transform and heal so then it has a page that's like getting started on your journey it says what to do tips and then a letter for later so it says you can write a letter to the future you from 90 days from now reread this letter at the end of 90 days to see how far you've come and reflect on your progress and then it gets right into week one but what i like about this that is different is like i said you had to fill out a whole bunch like a whole bunch of questions it was a quiz so that this journal can be completely tailored to what you need and i feel like that's important when it comes to like journals like this because you i've i've bought so many and it's just like generic or like i don't need certain parts of it so this is nice that it's actually going to be like things that i like it's tailored towards me so i'm definitely going to be starting this during my maternity leave so you'll see this in next month i will leave it down below she does have a tiktok she has an instagram i'll leave all the information down below for that and then this is something that i found on instagram which i need to stop this is it i'm not buying anything else i promise this is from modern faith i'm sure if you're on instagram you might have heard of it this stuff is so aesthetic i want to get some more things but i'm like right now i just don't have the room i just don't have the room for it and excuse me y'all i'm very out of breath with all activity so this is the devote collection this bag is everything if y'all haven't noticed like green olive green that's been my color for the year this is like the cutest bag i'm gonna keep that because that's cute so modern faith bread god's love the tiktok is the modern faith and instagram is modern faith shop a little card and then on the back it has my name and it says we're so excited to welcome you to the modern faith crew whether you are new in christ or furthering your spiritual 
spiritual growth. We hope this tool helps to keep you inspired. This collection is an opportunity for you to dedicate some time to God. We want you to fall in love with your special time with Jesus on a daily basis. We strive for it to be something you look forward to and that is and that this collection helps solidify your connection to Christ. Their mission is simple. Create aesthetic stationery, which girl is aesthetic, to further your relationship with Christ. Our hope is to glorify God, spread his love through our products, and keep you inspired to continue studying. Our prayer bear crew bear is our brand mascot, your Bible study buddy, and a true friend. He holds a heart because he believes in our mission to spread God's love wherever he goes. Which one day when I have some more extra funds, I will get one. So this is the devotional planner. I think it's a devotional planner. It is so beautiful. You have got, oh my gosh. Like this is just like crisp. Oh my gosh. It has a nice little pen holder. It has, this is what I like, okay? It has a thing to keep it closed. This is what I need for like my soft Bibles. That is wonderful. So you open it up, devote, daily devotional journal. Make God a part of your everyday routine with this daily devotional journal. Has how to use this journal, main subject, devotion source, notes, reflection, prayer important scriptures and then this is what it starts oh this is nice okay so the top says daily devotional i to make sure i like have pictures like inserts so you guys can see it has today's date main subject devotion source so this is nice if you have like a devotional that you're doing you can have this whip this out with your devotional and just do your devotion for the day so it has notes from it reflection what can i learn from this how can i apply it three is prayer and then four important scriptures I think that's important because a lot of devotionals have um, scriptures in it that aren't necessarily from the devotional reading, but they pair well with them and it like it's linked to them. And I know I'm not the only one, but a lot of times you can just like glance over that scripture. But it's important to actually read those scriptures because they tie in and a lot of the New Testament devotions will tie back into the Old Testament and show you like God's promises and how he keeps them and has kept them for over years. So it's important to look back at that but i will make sure to take a picture of that but those are my two new additions all right so basically what i'm gonna do is charge my camera one because it's about to die um but i'm going to fold these clothes back here fold cam's clothes vacuum in here i'll probably fold while my camera's charging and then we'll get some footage of me doing other stuff but if not I have a nail appointment at 12.45. It is 10.55, so I have about an hour and a half before I have to leave, so uh, I'm going to start the timer. All right, y'all, so I just finished folding my clothes. I still have the girls' clothes to fold and, like, things for the baby's room, but I vacuumed. Um, I was watching a sermon, but vacuumed. That's what we're looking at. It's 12.30, so I gotta go, but all vacuum and clean. I'm gonna go through this at some point today, hopefully. But I gotta go through these clothes and then figure out, um, as soon as hubby puts up the shelf or the um, clothes rack in Cam's room, I'll be able to put Sissy's clothes in there as well. Those are a lot of clothes that need to be hung up. But other than that, I just have to tidy up over here and then we're done. But let's go get my purse and I need to grab a notebook because I'm probably going to work on some things, some content stuff like a Christian content creator class that I joined. I have some modules that I still need to watch because I paid for um, the VIP class. So I'll probably do that while I'm at the nail salon because I'm just getting a pedicure. So I'm going to grab my water in my bag and let's go. Yeah, yeah, a 2000 EST. dark went to walgreens to pick up the pictures for baby girl's room and they're so cute they're 11 by 14 this one says before i formed you in the womb i knew you before you were born i set you apart jeremiah 1 verse 5 then the next one is let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these mark 10 verse 14 i got these all from etsy too i can leave them down below 
Um, and then for this child, we have prayed and the Lord has granted us the desires of our hearts. I ordered frames from Amazon that are like wooden that kind of match the changing table's legs. So tomorrow or Wednesday, hopefully we'll be able to get these up on the wall. And then Jared's gonna put her name up on the wall. So then no one will be allowed in the room because no one knows her name but us. And we're not announcing until she's here. So that's that. I, I still have to fold the clothes. We have one more thing of things to wash, burp cloths, the nursing pillow covers, all that kind of stuff that we got. I have a few more of those to wash. And then that'll be pretty much it as far as her stuff i just want to i think i want to switch my hospital bag into my bigger suitcase so that i can fit everything up everything in there better because i think i'm using my smaller one and it's like i might as well just use the big one and call it a day so i think i'm going to switch that and then that'll be a whole different video just like a hospital bag what's in my hospital bag and then like a by the bedside nursery tour that'll be later probably those videos will come out when baby girl's already here our nursery video what's in my hospital bag and then the bedside nursery situation that'll all probably come out when she's here because i already have those i already have those pre-recorded and edited so they'll be just sitting waiting and that way i can kind of take november off of having to post i'll still try to film like in the hospital and stuff but i don't want to have to think about weeks of content but just doing the one video a week is definitely going to be better for me right now after she's here then i may be able to do more but i'm just trying not to burn myself out but it is 2 52 we are gonna have to wake cam up and go to the doctors to have ultrasound and we're weighing her today so we're gonna see how much she weighs now a couple maybe four i think four weeks ago she was in the 92 percentile and they were like oh you know we'll be on the lookout for gestational diabetes we'll see you know how she keeps growing what size she is and i'm kind of interested because i'm like if she's big you know how some people like measure like the due date is wrong i'm like what if the due date is wrong what if it just was miscalculated by like a week or two so that'll be interesting like to see how big she is like maybe her due date just should be pushed up i don't know but we'll see how big she is I feel like she's big because I'm out of breath and I'm just tired, so I don't know what she's gonna be. But I'm sure it'll be, last time we were jaw dropped, we were like, she's what? So I'm interested, four weeks later, what she is now. So I'm gonna get some juice for the road, a little snack, and then get Cam and get in the car and get on our way. All right, y'all, back home. It's music hour. Got a new toy. Bang your drum. There you go. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. How cute it is. Mickey Mouse. And we got these little... We got a recorder. You got all the things. Where's the where's the tambourine? This is the shaker. About to open up this mom cozy um bottle washer. I'll show you guys that. Cause I need to wash these nipples, caps, and everything so then we can get the counters clean. Maybe we'll do that tonight. And I think that'll probably be it because I'm tired again. is real. 
All right, y'all, this is what we got so far. Everything else is washing. All like the nipples and other pieces will go in these drawers that I pull out. Gotta get used to using that. Breast milk storage bags. This is gonna be for breast milk refills for upstairs. And then kind of cleaned out the cabinet. So Cam's stuff is still gonna be here. Some of her stuff is up there too. But then I have my bottles that's gonna have breast milk in there and then the series chiller. And then all the way up there is like more breast milk storage bag. So it'll probably change a little bit as time goes on, but it's enough. But we have some bottles, different kind of bottles. And everything else is washing over here. And we'll get the wash this stuff and these nipples and then we'll be all good i'm about to eat dinner it's 10 o'clock it's late i'm tired I'm gonna watch an episode of love is line probably just one eat dinner and then go to bed so thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video this little sunday monday spend a few days with me it was quite productive so if you like these videos like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye so I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has